All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Amal Warren from the Lions Den Camp of Yasha Allah. Coming at you guys with another quick lesson. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Akwafim, to anyone that's out there listening. But before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son in their holy proper names. Call Halayullah, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Haraka Kodash Mamaf. And I want to do a double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. And citations to the Akim that's pushing the word, the gospel, and the truth around the four corners of the earth. All right. And I also want to do a double honors to my elders as well. The lesson I'm getting into is based upon false prophets and the false sayings and the false instructions that they're giving. All right. Because there's many false prophets that's out here in the world that's going to be deceiving our people, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right. And a lot of uh, false prophets are actually preachers that are in these um, these whorehouses that's, um, that's out here, you know, these so-called churches, all right? You know, and a lot of these false prophets are going to uh, have our people led astray to receiving the receiving the V, the Kor and also the Karagma, uh, which, which uh, deals with the mark of the beast, all right? So, you know, we got to be aware and be circumspect. To know what times that we are in, man, you know, because many, many, many of our people are gonna be deceived, man, you know. So it's best that we take wise counsel amongst the the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord, you know, the ones that's that's uh, prophesying righteous things, the ones that's are prophesying the things to come, you know, the more uh, direct, full of doctrine, sound doctrine, you know. You know, cause the it's, it's many false philosophies that's been uh spilled spilled upon the uh the table right now. We're just causing our people to slip up, all right. You know, to err, you know, err from the most high, you know. So you gotta be wise, you know. You gotta be, you gotta hearken unto the truth, you know. You gotta be able to uh, decipher what is true and what is fake, man. All right, or, or, or false. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. This is Proverbs 19 and 20. It says, Hear counsel and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. All right. And that goes to um, Isaiah 33 and 7 also, man, because it says, Hear counsel and receive instruction. So what is the instruction? The instruction is to uh, to uh, to, uh, to repent. The the instruction is to is to gain more knowledge and wisdom and understanding. The instruction is to learn how to be more, uh, more closer to Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You know how to how to gain salvation. All right. It's many it's many instructions in this Bible, um, and commandments and laws and statutes that the Most High Yahweh while Yahweh Shah is 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 is, is uh is ordering us to do. All right, and to and to get and to receive. So it says, hear counsel and receive instruction that, that thou mayest be wise and thy latter end. All right. So if you go to Isaiah 33. All right. 33 verse 6. It says, in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. So wisdom and knowledge is going gonna, gonna to be the stability of all right, of thy times, of, of that latter end, all right, because we're getting ready to go into some troubling times, which which is Jacob's trouble, all right, we, we're going to, we are, we are already in Jacob's trouble, but we are going to more troubling times of Jacob's trouble, which is going to uh, require you to have much faith, much hope, much prayer, you know, much wisdom and knowledge, you know, and, and much more of uh, having a sound mind. You know, because uh, all these things are gonna uh, conjure up to, you know, to uh, for, for us to be able to be able to to escape uh, destruction and and also to be able to be saved. Also, man, you know, because um, the wiles of the devil is here, man, and that word wild wiles of the devil meaning trickery. You know, it's a lot of trickery things going on, so you have to be circumspect. You have to have that. Um, uh, uh, a, dice a decipher mind to, to to see what's real and what's not, man. Because it's, it could be a lot of things that could de deceive many of our people, man. All right. So I'm gonna go to the next scripture. Uh, I'm gonna go to Matthew chapter 24. 
verse 4. It says, And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach. Well, the English word it says Christ. It says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, which is Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. All right. So it, it's, it's going to be a lot of uh, people, a lot of uh, fake deities also. You know, uh, how people puff these deities and these uh these fake gods up, you know, making it seem like they're they're the true gods, which which in all reality they are not. They are false, they can't do nothing, they can't stand on their own two feet. They don't have any feet. But besides the point though, it's gonna be many people and many things coming in and saying that they are uh Hamashiach, you know, and it's gonna deceive many people. And then it's also gonna be many prophets that's gonna be coming in the name of Yahweh Shah. And, and also in the name of Yahweh, that's going to deceive many people also, man. So you got to be very, very uh, circumspect, man. It says, for many shall come in my name saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Con, so it's, the end is not yet. Yes, we are seeing these rumors of wars. Yes, we are seeing these tensions are these tensions are de definitely rising. All right, that cold war is brewing to a hot war, man. All right, so these rumors of wars, these nations are rising against each other. All right, China, Russia, United States, you know, aka Babylon, you know, you got uh, North Korea, South Korea, you got Japan, you got all these major companies, Iran. I'm gonna say company. I mean countries. Um, uh, you know, that's that's broken up, broken up against. Um, you know the United States, you know, and and also other countries, man. So it's 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 been a big build up right now. It says, "For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places." And that's a major a major topic right now, especially especially for famine and the pestilences and the earthquakes because. That famine is, is 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 slowly but surely coming to America, man. America, and it's and it's gonna be here uh, soon. All right, it's gonna and it's gonna hit hard, hit home, you know. So, you know, with the pestilences, you got the the COVID nineteen. You got you know all these uh major uh all these major diseases diseases being released upon the earth, man. And I mean, of our people are are being shaken by it. And also getting sick from it, you know. And like the scripture says, um, in Deuteronomy, that it says, oh, if you um, if thou don't uh, attend to uh, like, let me go ahead and get it. Cause um, in, in you know in the scriptures it, it tells you if you don't you know hearken to you how about you was shot and his words and his commandments, man, that these things are was gonna um. Gonna be upon thee, and it was gonna cleave unto thee until thou be destroyed, and that's the same thing that's happening today. You know, our people are still, you know, refraining from turning to turning from their wicked, turning from their wicked ways, man. All right, this is uh. Hold on, this is Deuteronomy. 28. All right, this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 58. It says, If thou would not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear the glorious and fearful name, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, thy God, it says, Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues and of long continuance and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. All right. It says, moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. All right. So that was the point, man. You know, these diseases are being increasingly um, stronger than, than, than before, you know, especially for the, 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 the uh, diseases from Egypt. And what the Lord says, he said, it says it's gonna, they're they're gonna, uh, they are gonna cleave to thee, you know, if thou don't hearken to his words, man. 
if thou don't re return to him, man. So what it say? And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, man. I just you know I just woke up this morning to a whole bunch of different articles about earthquakes. Earthquakes being uh many many earthquakes are being are erupt uh, are erupting under the earth, under the um, the, uh, the 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 Yellowstone um, Mountain, and also many earthquakes are brewing up in the um uh, under under the coast of um California, man. So we we're seeing, you know, you know, as every day as time progresses, more it's more and more earthquakes being in diverse places, man. You know. But what it's saying, verse eight, Matthew twenty four and eight, it says, "All these are the beginning of sorrows." It says, "Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, man." And that's and that time is here too, because you know. A lot of a lot of these nations that's uh, that's on this earth uh, hate Israel, the, the nation of Israel, the true nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, and all of them had a hand in, had a hand in having us in slavery, man. So judgment is coming to them also. But what it say? It says, and they shall and they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations. So, and what they doing in, in in these in these times that we are living in? They are they are uh, gunning us gunning us down. You know, killing us in the streets, man. Without a cause, without any type of uh, you know, answer or whatnot, man. It just you know, they just straight killing our people, man, and just being wicked. You know, and also, you know, it's it's many articles stating if you don't if you don't uh take the V, you know. That they, that they was gonna uh, label you as a um, a criminal, man. So they are, you know, they are definitely trying to uh, target the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, to kill us off, man. You know, just like how they was doing back in the days, man, back in old times when Jacob, when Esau was trying to uh, kill Jacob. That same spirit is on them today. They are still trying to kill us, man. They still are trying to uh, oppress us, man. You know. All right, but verse 10, it says, And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. All right, and that's, and that's another thing, you know, what, what, especially with this economy. When this economy collapses, man, you know, when that, when that food, you know, uh, is, is, is scarce, you know, when famine is really hitting home, you know, you know you, you're going to see a different type of mindset from these people. It, it's it's going to be a lot of um, shisty things going on. It's going to be a lot of um, creep. You know, creeping things going on. No, not with the actual creeping things of the of the of the earth, but creeping things of the people. You know, they're gonna it's, it's gonna be more so ha more hateful uh, thoughts towards one another, man. You know, people people gunning each other down as it is, but it's gonna be more of that, man. It's gonna be more death. It's gonna be more death bodies in the streets, man. You know. People gonna be invading each other homes, man, because there's no food or there's no shelter, man. So it's gonna be a, a, a great chaos, you know, coming to this place of Babylon, man. Verse eleven, it says, "And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many." It says, "Many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many," and that's what it is, man. It's, it's a lot of false prophets that's. It's preaching false doctrine. It's preaching a lot of false information to our people, man. Leading our people to be astray. Leading our people to still be treacherously dealing with Esau. Even still, you know, you know, they, they prophesy in, in the name of Yahusha, but still having our people, uh, still trying to still influencing our people to take this uh this jab, this uh this V, you know, this this karagma, man. And that's that's very deceitful, man. And the most high Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shah is gonna have his hand in their judgment, man. You know, for leading our people to leading our people into a ditch, man, leading our people astray. All right. So let me go to um it, uh the book of Sirach, chapter six, verse thirty-two, or Ecclesiasticus. It says, My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if, and if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. All right. So it says, if thou be, if, if you are willing to be taught, 
you know, you know, you will learn, you know, especially if you apply your mind to it. You know, you, you also got to pray to Yahweh about Shema for, uh, for uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It says, thou shalt be prudent if, if thou apply thy mind. It says, if thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto them that is wise. And, what and, and, you know, when it's speaking of the, of the elders, man, it's, you know, you're supposed to uh, stick to the elders, the ones that's, that's speaking wise things, you know, the ones that's speaking on true things, man. And the only elders that I know that's that's, that's, that's speaking on, on the truth and nothing but the truth, all right, and teaching are the uh, the elders and apostles of GMS, Apostle Taha, all right, you know, and and, and, the, and the other elders is, is, is under him also, man, you know, even my elder, you know, you're supposed to cleave unto a wise counsel, man. You know, and not not the uh, the counsel of this world, because the councilmen of this world is uh, is is a foolishness, man. You know, they don't they don't have any value. They don't they don't have any weight to the, to the to the doctrine that they're speaking on, man. You know. So what? It's just be willing to hear every godly discourse. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee, man. So keep the understanding, you know, if you hear a parable or a dark saying, man, write it down, you know, study it, man. Take note of it, you know, because it, you, you don't want, you don't want, you don't want these things to escape thee, man. You know, knowledge and understanding is, is a sacred thing to have, man. Verse 36, it says, and if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him. And let thy foot wear the steps of his door, man. So be at his doorstep, you know. <laughs> Not literally at his doorstep, but you know, if you if you want knowledge, and understanding, you know, seek it, you know. Seeking ye shall find. So, you know, seek if you want to seek the most high, you how about streaming y'all shall seek him ten times more by being diligent, by you know stand under the standing standing under wise councilman that's 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 preaching, you know, true gospel, you know, of the most high you how about streaming y'all shot. It says, let thy mind be upon the order, ordinate, ordinances of the Lord. And that word ordinances is, is, is meaning order, you know, orderly, you know, or, or, or gaining instruction, you know, having order. It says, let thy mind be upon the order of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. And he shall establish thy heart, thy mind. He said, he shall establish thy mind. And give thee wisdom at thy own desire. All right. So you know, if you you know, like a baby that that, that um, desires to tear milk, you know, you just be in that same same spirit, man. You know, seeking the seeking the words, seeking the, the words of the prophets, man. Seeking the the, the prophets of the, of the Lord. You how about showing me was shot, man? You know, because it's gonna be a time where that that um. It's gonna be another feminine involved, where it's not gonna be just about food. It's gonna be uh, actually hearing the words of, of the uh, of the Most High Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah. So it's time that you uh, it's time that you um, uh, be hasty and you know in, in hearing the words, man. Be quick to hear, slow to speak. You know. So let me go to. Uh, Jeremiah 14. All right, this is Jeremiah 14 and 13. It says, Then said I, I, Lord, Yahweh, behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured, assured peace in this place. Shalaka, that's not, that's not it. That's not it. Come on, come on, come on. That is it. All right, verse 14, it says, Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, 
neither have I commanded them, neither spoken to them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and deviation and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall, do, shall those prophets be consumed. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to these false prophets. So these false prophets that speaking these falsely vain things to our people, telling them to 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 take this the, the V, telling them to take the vat, the, uh, the the jab, or telling them that the RFID chip, uh, which is the mark of the beast, you know, is uh, that saying that saying that they, that they can take it, man, or telling them telling them that that, that it's not the mark of the beast, man, that's that's foul and that's uh deceit to our people, but the same prophets that's telling our people these these false imaginations these false devi deviations man it's gonna have the same thing have the same thing done to them when that time come they're gonna be the ones that's gonna take the chip they don't they're the ones that's gonna take the v all right they're the ones that's gonna uh be in that in that in that in that, uh, that, that lake of fire man all right which is gonna be caused by nuclear thermonuclear power by these nuclear these nuclear missiles these nuclear bombs man these ICBM missiles that's gonna be here in in, in America. America is gonna be a boiling pot. It's gonna be a lake of fire, man. All right, with fervent heat. So you know these false prophets, man. You gotta be aware of them. You gotta be aware of the false sayings that's from them, man. Because it, what what they say is the, the Lord have not sent them. All right. So you know, um, what it say verse fourteen it says the Lord. It says the Lord said unto the me, unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. And that's what they're doing, especially especially IUIC. You know, they are one of the main ones that's uh that's speaking lies in his name, man. You know. And also uh causing our people to uh to go astray, man. It's saying that you have to uh you know, saying also that our people can keep the law hundred percent, man. And that's a damn lie because Yahweh Shah was the only one that was here on, on this earth that kept the law 100%, man. And if, if any one of us were to, to, to keep the law 100%, that would make Hamashiach a liar, man. And that's not, and, 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 that, and that is not so. All right. We are all sinners, man. All right. We are all trying to be perfect through him. All right. By doing the works, you know. By following after his order, order, ordinances, you know, his orders, you know, his commandment, his statutes. We're not trying to be uh, followers of men, you know. We're not. We're not. We are not being followers of men. We're being followers of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. We are being servants, you know, work workmanships, you know. But it, this all goes back to, you know. This all goes back to wanting to repent and wanting to, you know, get back to your how while your how shot, man. You know, because it's a lot of uh it's a lot of false things that's going on right now and it's causing our people to to, to die and, and it's gonna also cause more and more of our people to die. Alright, and I think I got one more scripture. And I'm gonna end it with this. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter two, verse two. It says, "It says, set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at that last end, man. So cleave unto him, you know. Set thy heart, set, set thy mind aright, you know." Cause what the scripture says, you know, the first commandment is to set thy heart, you know, wholly on him, you know, trusting in him, you know, trusting in Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. It's, but it says what? Set thy heart aright. So repent, you know, get yourself together, man. It says in what? And constantly endure. Endure what? Temptations. Because what it's saying in verse 1, it says, My son, thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. So we got to endure these temptations. We got to endure these trials. 
All right, these fiery trials that's that's, that's being pl placed in our, our lives, man. Cause the Most High are, are trying us with like like gold, like what it says in verse four. It says, "For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the first in the furnace of adversity, man." So what? Believe in Him, and He will help thee order thy way aright, and trust in Him. All right, ye that fear the Lord, wait for His mercy, and go not aside. Lest ye fall, man. So don't don't go don't go aside. Don't don't be hasteful to go aside and fall out to these false prophets, man. Don't be don't be don't go aside and fall out to these fake false philosophies, these uh these strange women, which it speaks about in the Bible, which is uh these false philosophies, man. All right, especially these false philosophies that these false camps are teaching. All right, so be be uh. Be wise, be be uh observer, be circumspect, man. Be be vigilant, be be sober, man. And with that being said, I want to say, call Hala you lie, you how about Shem Yahweh Shah? You know, stay focused. You know, stay vigilant. And I want to say, Shalom.